Hi, welcome at Smile, Miss Aviation Divination, and Perfectly Perfect, coming to you with love, of course. That is the point of the channel. I love you. And a message, a message for those that A, may be going through this, B, may be prevented from going through some bullshit, and C, if you have gone through this, you're not alone. And if I've overcome all of the above, little old me, so can you. Right. So welcome. Welcome to Life on Life Terms and knowing that you're better than the circumstances and you have the power to change them. Right. So my DYI project is coming along quite nicely. Let me show you guys. Um, I did like a Pepto pink kind of darker than Pepto with white and like a turquoise because I love it. And then um, my artwork is coming along. Uh, my bathroom, uh, I'm going to leave that for last uh, because uh, it's expensive. Tiling, um, nice ceramic tiling is expensive. Um, and I'm doing it as I can. And because um, I'm working for the man, as they say, nine to five, um, Right, balling on a budget of not really existed. <laughs> so um, I got this table and I set it up real nicely and it's a work in progress and we're working on it. Right, as life is, you work on it daily. I'm going to put this down and make my way over to my <laughs> comfortable abode. Right. All right, guys. So what do I want to talk to you about? Several things. I want to talk to you about um, this is something that I'm currently experiencing. Um, intentions, people's intentions. So your intention, your energy may be positive or to get something accomplished or to simply pass the time with getting to know someone. The fact of the matter is that your intentions and the reality of the ripple effect of life don't always coincide, don't always align themselves. Um, I say this because since I've moved from Georgia, um, I've had a couple of suitors call me and tell me, I miss you, I want to be with you. Um, bullshit. Here's the facts. So I had someone call me recently and say to me, you were everything I could have wanted, but... And now I want you back in my life. You don't have to work. Life is work, first of all. Don't come at me with that bullshit. Any person that comes into your life and tells you everything is going to be peaches and creams and you don't have to do anything other than exist in their life is a manipulator and a liar. And they want what they want from you, whether it be your presence, your skills, whatever it is you make them feel. Right. So me being slick at the mouth, I say to the motherfucker, <laughs> I need $30 for 3.5. That's an eighth. I need a bag of weed. And I live in a state where it's legal, so I don't have to hide that I smoke. And if you know me, I ain't never hit it. I'm not going to. No response <laughs> at all whatsoever. Man, so I'm supposed to come believe that you want me to live with you and be fully taken care of, but you can't even send me $30 on call? Right. Then I have another man that I do love. I have a lot of love for. I've been in love with him in the past, and I couldn't have him either. But this man, we communicate as we can, and there's no pressure. He don't question me about my whereabouts. He's not a jealous individual. And when we were together and he was jealous, you see, it didn't work out. But when I call him and I say that I have a necessity, he does for me. Not because he could fuck me, because we're miles, I'm talking about 3,000 miles or better apart. So do you see the difference how someone will tell you what their intentions are? I want to have you at all costs, even if it costs me lying to you. And then there's another person that understands that I cannot have you the way that I want to have you, but I love you. So therefore, I will accommodate you. I will facilitate. I will assist because I care. See the difference? Actions. Words will tell you anything. Then I'm currently experiencing a situation where um, I'm seeing
being a married man. This man is married, committed to his family, right? But how can you be committed to something and be willing to fuck me? How can you be loving something and be interested in me? Right. So therefore, when I tell you women, um, I'm not scandalous and I'm not a homewrecker. I mean that shit. I will not intervene in your relationship. But if your man is persistent and be, he's in my face, in my time, in my presence, baby, let me tell you something. I'm not the problem in your relationship. And I'm not going to continue to push away something that is obviously magnetically drawn to me beyond physical attraction. Because my tits ain't the shit. I ain't got a whole lot of ass. Let me tell you something. God didn't give me body. God gave me intellect, grace, wisdom, strength. A lot of things that men want and value but don't seem to recognize or fully comprehend once they have it, exactly what it is that they have. So let me tell you something. You young women and men that are going through life just in the moment, living in the moment, passing the moment, not knowing the other person's intentions for your body, your energy. Stand up for yourself. What is it that you want when you interact with someone? Make that very clear. And if what you desire, what you intend is not respected or reciprocated, then understand that you have the ability to not participate. It is your free will how you allow others to treat you. And that's why I got scars. And that's why I'm called all kinds of bitches. But I'm a cat. I cannot be a dog. Right. And I will continue to bring you this love, this insight, these words to advise you, guide you, and strengthen you to know that you are not alone. Life is not a coincidence. Things are not just happening to you. I love you. You don't know what it looks like? Look at me. I've been through hell. I get hell every day, but I'm not taking it. I'm not having it. And I'm not living in it. Welcome at Smile. Yes, I'm satisfied to love you beyond what the average may believe. Welcome. Welcome to the greatness that is your life.